On the roof, too much snow, and the bigger the roof, the bigger the risk. Schools and businesses trying to get ahead of the next storm. We checked out some current conditions. At Macy's in Warwick, snow is being removed from this large flat roof. It's been leaking. A crew of 30 plus has been up here trying to clear as much of the snow as possible to prevent leaks. We know they're there, and uh, we're certainly glad to see them, with the, especially with the forecast. The snow is being shoveled into this big bag and then dumped into trucks. We can't see it from here, but how much snow is on this roof? Two, three feet. It's pretty high, like a lot of snow. Here at Brown, part of the Teflon or fabric roof gave way at the Pizzatola Sports Center. No one was hurt, and crews are continuing to shovel off the rest of the snow that's left here on the roof, which is only about three years old. The original roof failed in early 2011 when there was even more snow on top of it, and the roof back then was more than 20 years old. Facilities, including the squash courts on the lower levels, were told were not damaged here. The building remains open. Then, at Providence Country Day School in East Providence, we found crews removing snow from roofs here, too. The field house is closed, and students are not allowed inside as a precaution. Just around our campus, there's a problem with the snow, and then it melts and freezes, and you end up with ice on the roofs. Um, I know the weight is huge, um, and a lot of roofs can just only withstand a certain amount of pressure. And so the cleanup taking days all around the state. The cleanup crucial, though, with more snow expected in the coming days. Temporary repairs have been underway at the Pizzatola Sports Center at Brown, and they're expected to be completed shortly, if not already, by this hour tonight, so the tennis facility as well can reopen.